This is the Eldico TR1 TV transmitter from about 1953 or 1954. Very few of these around and uh, just a couple on the air that I know of. It's a ham radio transmitter for AM and CW for five bands, 80 meters, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands. It'll do about 200 watts carrier output maybe just a tad more than that. The transmitter is in three sections, power supply section down on the bottom, modulator, and the RF deck. On the power supply, pretty sparse front panel, we've got a filament switch, filaments are on, low voltage switch, and a high voltage switch, and that's it. The power supply produces 1500 volts DC for the uh, plate of the transmitter. Uh, also uh, 400 volts and 340 volts for the exciter and minus 9 volts bias voltage for the modulators. The modulator section right here, the uh, final tube 4E27A is modulated by two 811As in this section. Uh, not much on the front panel again, a switch between phone and CW, uh, modulator current meter, audio gain, and the microphone input. And then the top section, the RF deck of this transmitter, a uh, little more busy, a uh, couple of meters in the upper left hand side, grid drive, and that's a switchable meter for uh, the 10 meter circuit. Uh, you know, it's only used in that position, that's the 10 meter multiplier tube. Uh, the second position is buffer drive, and then grid drive to the power amp in the third position. PA band switch for the final, also for the exciter, uh, crystal switch, eight positions inside the RF cabinet. Uh, it's pretty tough to get in there and change crystals, so it's nice to have the option for a VFO, which is switchable right there. The uh, 10 meter grid tuning, obviously used on 10 meters, but also helps uh, tune the grid drive to uh, proper level. And then the PA tuning and PA loading controls, variable capacitors. PA loading also switches in and out capacitors to help with the loading. And uh, that's about it. Uh, again, I said the 4E27A for the final tube here. And we've got the filament voltage on right now. Let's see if we can tune it up. We've got it on the dummy load. We'll tune it up to uh, 40 meter band. First thing we do is hit the band switching to the correct band that we're on 40 meters and then hit the low voltage that'll turn on the uh, driver and we'll adjust that to about 9 milliamps in the uh, driver grid and then we'll uh, turn on the high voltage the plate voltage and tune for a, a real quick dip in the plate current and there's the dip and then we'll load it just a little bit more and dip it again. We'll add a little capacitance to the loading. Once again hit the plate, tune for the dip, and there we've got uh, about 140 watts carrier output. A little more capacitance. Once again, PA tuning, tuning for the dip and then loading to the output we want. A little touch up on the grid. There we go. There's a little over 200 watts carrier right now out from that. We'll turn that off. Turn the receiver down just a little bit. Switch it into the phone position. See if we've got modulation. We, yep, uh, we do have modulation on the Eldico TR1 TV transmitter from about 1953 or uh, 1954. And that's your quick tour. Hope you enjoyed that.